Hey guys, thanks for coming out. Um, we're going to play a little video about us, how well we know each other, and how we really feel about each other. <laughs> so I hope you have fun, buckle up, and um, We've got games, we've got tie-dye t-shirts, we've got food. Enjoy. Yep, just have fun. It's all about everybody today, so just enjoy. <laughs> I remember when Daniel and I first met, he cleaned my windows at Dots and we always had the best conversation every single time he came into the store to clean the windows and I always thought he was interesting. And I kept wanting to ask her for her phone number and I kept pushing it off and pushing it off. And then one day I just wished he would ask for my number and wished he would ask for my number the whole time he was talking to me. I chickened out, I was going to give it to him and I turned around and just was like, darn, I wish I had done it and as I said it, he asked for my number and I just flipped out. I was stoked. And that's, we still have the piece of paper with the number because it was just bizarre because the last four of my phone number are his social. Yeah. So it was like, he was flipping out when I was flipping out that he had finally asked because he looks at it and he's like, whoa, <laughs> my social. I remember our first date, I went to pick her up and I was nervous, but she couldn't see it in me. She thought it was cool how I acted. And uh, I took her to Carrabba's and once we got there she told me that was her favorite restaurant. And we just didn't stop talking, just a conversation the whole time, smiles the whole time. I just felt like I was at home. So we both got dinner at our favorite restaurant and it was absolutely fantastic. Walked in, Dave Matthews Band is my favorite band. Sit down, first song that I hear is a Dave Matthews Band song. I just start smiling, I'm like, here we go, karma. Let's get started. Mm -hmm. And. I remember sitting there and talking, being comfortable, never had a date where I just sat down and felt like I had known this person my whole life. And I'm like, this is really awesome. Had everything to talk about and we still do. We don't stop. We still talk all the time. <laughs> and I knew I could spend a lot of time with her. <laughs> Here we are spending a lot more. I remember the day I proposed to Trish, um, I took her up to the Smoky Mountains, she said she's never been, so I wanted to show her some new sights. And I took her up on the Blue Ridge Parkway and got off to where we call this place called Looking Glass Rock. It was about a two, two and a half hour hike all the way to the top up. And when we got up there, right before we got to the opening, we got to the edge of the trees, I made her shut her eyes. I said, I want you to enjoy this view, you know, make it memorable. So I got, in, got her out there and where she was standing and I got down in front of her with the ring and. She opened her eyes and all she could see was me and nothing, miles and mountains, just miles and miles of mountains way up there on the top of one. So she, she was pretty excited about it. Yeah, I remember when we told each other that we loved each other for the first time. It was something that I wanted to tell her for a long time and something I wanted to know was comfortable. And then one time we both looked at each other and said, I love you. And it was just natural, just like everything else here is. And that's how everything has been since day one. Um, the way I viewed marriage before I met Trish, I didn't really see it for real among a lot of people. Most of the people I met, they just were fake about it, couldn't stay loyal. But my parents have a beautiful thing. They've had a beautiful marriage. Yeah, they've had some ups and downs, but every relationship has that. And here they are, you know, 30 years later, almost 33 years later, still in love. My dad will still take his shirt off his back to give it to my mom, and that's just. I was taught how to respect a woman, and I just didn't see a lot of good women in my life until I met Trish, and I knew she was the one that I had to treat that way. One of my favorite memories is meeting his parents for the first time. That's one of my favorite memories with Daniel, because when I walked into his parents' house, it felt like I had been there a thousand times before. It felt like I had known them my whole entire life, and then Daniel's mom walks over and she goes, sweetheart. He's your problem now. <laughs> and I knew that this was going to be so special from now until eternity because clearly Daniel had been a crazy one. <laughs> he wasn't crazy for me. <laughs> that was my favorite memory still to this day is your parents in yeah. their house. It didn't take long for me to know that Daniel was the one, to know that I would absolutely love him till the end of time. I have met so many horrible, examples of what a man really is. I've dated a lot of boys and Daniel was the first man that I was blessed to date and I knew it instantly that he was going to be the perfect man for me. 
My favorite thing about Daniel is he's the funnest person in the world to hang out with. Your face hurts the whole time you're sitting next to Daniel. He's just so much fun and he doesn't even think so, so it makes it even more fun. When I was young, I never thought I'd get married. I never thought that I would get married for a very long time if I ever got married at all. And to find Daniel is such a special treat because I know he views marriage as sacred as I view marriage because if I am going to marry somebody, it's going to be from now until eternity. No questions asked, no ways out, no turn around, run backwards. No, we're pushing forward from now until eternity together and Daniel understands that and it was scary to think about marriage with someone else who doesn't view marriage as sacred as Daniel and I never thought I'd find someone who found it as special as I do and it's, I'm so blessed to have found Daniel and to know how special and sacred he was taught that marriage is. Hey Trish, you're so special to me honey. Um, I really love you and I'm looking forward to spending the rest of my life with you. It's been a fun ride so far, so just hang on and let's keep going. I really love you. Daniel, I just want to tell you, thank you so much for being you. Thank you so much for being Daniel. And I appreciate every day that I get with you and I'm so excited to spend the rest of my life with you and I just can't wait for it to start. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, it's time to kick back and enjoy everything we talked about earlier. Just go out there and eat up, eat some food. We love you. Thank you. <laughs> we love you guys. See you around.